back to the existential sandbox. Just got done raiding the ranger base. I didn't really find anything particularly uh, useful. Um, I was mostly looking for ammo. I was kind of hoping to get some uh, furniture together. So I think I can go with... Uh, you know, I need a beach chair to go out there next to my happy table. So that's something to think about. How about I go ahead and make some bars and see what sort of things come up for. Hey, I can make an umbrella. I didn't even think about that. So, well, I'll do a purple umbrella. When I get enough cloth, I'll do a purple lawn chair. So, I noticed something on the map. And, yeah, there it is off to my 1 o'clock. Visually, I'm going to go check this dock first. And it looks like a beached container ship. Check this dock. Nothing, nothing. It's good to know this docks here. Maybe I can, uh, if this turns out to be a nice spawn point, I can use the boat and swing over here. So, back in a bit. I was creeping around to the high ground so I get an enfilade on them, but uh, I noticed there's another berry bush system here. I didn't know this type was here. So, I'll grab these, add them to my berry collection. So, can't have enough berries. <laughs> Let's see what I got here. Hard hat guys. Huh. There we go. So the helmet blocks a shot apparently. Sledgehammer. Oop. Well, at least I'm not attracting too much attention. I do have a line of sight. I just have to be able to utilize it. There we go. A lot of containers here. Oh my goodness gracious. And yeah, I could always use duct tape. I'm starting to think about how to build up my water catchment system, so I'm going to... Oops, hit F too many times there. So I'm going to have to... Hey, what do you know? There's a can right there. I might have enough as we speak to build a new bit of water catchment. So oh, I need two plates. So let's do that now. Use some of this metal while I'm in the field. There we go. That was simple enough. What's my inventory space like? Looks pretty good. And I'm kind of hoping this would contain, the container ship would contain something I want. Ooh, bricks. Um, hmm. I don't hear anything. Let's corner this. Check my parameter. Yeah. If this is real life, I don't know if I'd be happy with this water. Zombies don't need to breathe, and they could hit you from below, and you'd never see it coming. Uh, and I hear one now. Somewhere. Ooh, some eggs. You know, I can turn those eggs, even though they're rotten, into a cake. It's not real life game mechanics, but it does work. Where are... Oops, I'm swimming. That means I've put down my weapon. Wetsuit bottom. So, alrighty, let's take them down. There we go. The second one sounds like. Nope. Nope. All right. Well, we have raided this ship. It does not appear appear to be a very lucrative spawn, for lack of a better turn term. So, I'm gonna call this ship secure and figure out where to go from here. I've made the executive decision to go to Alberton to check the ranger spawn there in the bank for ranger equipment, as well as then go check out the docks and maybe kill some zombos. I know there's a pizza place here. If I can get some dough, I have some meat to make pizza. Haven't had that yet. BRB. I'm in a bit of a quandary. I'm low on ammo, and I took some uh, damage, which has led to my infection level being critical at this point. So I'm going to <coughs> desperately hope there is something that can help me out in this... Uh... Oh, please be what I need. Come on, you can do it. It has not got me to where I need to be yet. I need to be at 50% or my health is going to keep going down. Alright. This is bad. 
This is really bad. So I'm going to have to steal this car. I'm going to go for this one up here. Steal this car, run down to the farmer's place in a race against time. Because uh, I know there's some vermilion berries. And they'll buy me enough time as an antibiotic. This sucks. Tension, tension, tension. You know, I've been in vehicles where I've had people wounded or I've been severely wounded myself and en route to a medical facility. I'm actually feeling a bit of tension over doing something like this, as crazy as that sounds. Huh. Weird. Kind of a strange flashback. Coming up on those berry bushes. Come on. There's the base. I got enough med supplies in there. Let's see if I can buy myself some time with these vermilion berries. There's only two of them. And I'm down at 23% health. And it is our mob berries. Sorry. Come on, give me something. That's 27%. 32% is not going to give me enough to get me above 50%. But it will buy me enough time to get back home. And that is the critical part. Low on ammo. I didn't notice it, but I accidentally stepped on two crawlers. They bled me and actually did some pretty severe damage. Let's see, 40%. 39. 39. Yeah, we're going to make it. Oh, the wood hasn't despawned yet. I'm kind of amazed. There's my apothecary. So I'll grab, I'll actually hit the antibiotics really quick. Let's see how fast, oh, that's exactly what I needed. Um, you know, for prophylaxis, I'm going to eat a couple vitamins. Yeah, that should bring me back up. Whew, man, that was not a good run. Okay, well, got myself a couch. All purple is not my ideal color. It is uh, <laughs> nice enough for the environment here, so to speak. I'm going to pick that one up on here. Put the couch here. I'll just pretend it's a waterproof outdoor couch. And put a nice little mellow green light here. Put the table right and you know, that's just not going to fit on the... You know, I'll just make this the dining room right here. Shoopoak. There we go. Although I do have a nice umbrella. Right here. Match the couch. There we go. Ah. It's amazing. And just like real life, sometimes you... Wondering if you're going to die bleeding out, screaming around in a car, vehicle, or convoy, and sometimes even just a half an hour later, you're stable and secure and think everything's going to work out. <laughs> Odd that you can actually get a limbic reaction and accelerated heartbeat and parasympathetic sort of trigger from playing a video game if you have the stimulus lying inside of you. Well, anyway, back for a little bit of a... Oh, Ranger ammo. Hey, you know, I went wondering all we were looking for, and I find it here at home. Any other boxes up here? Then we'll take a look at the other stuff that I built. Is that butterfly knife? Woohoo! Tukunk. Tukunk. Ah, well, as you can see, the crop system's coming along. Do some more work on that later off screen. I built this to be my pantry. So, yeah, I don't know why I picked that up. Get out of here. Um, throw the candy bar in there, in there, not on the ground. And I got a produce system out there. Hmm. And so I have enough storage out on the deck for a while. So I'm putting in a kitchen here, so put in a refrigerator, put in some cabinets, and Maybe a wooden cupboard or a metal cupboard. Kind of give it that industrial kitchen look. Maybe metal cupboard there, refrigerator. Uh, maybe a cooler or two. Put the coolers up here. Have a brew. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. We're going to want to go down, check out the uh, 
There we go. Let's turn that off. Or did I turn it on? Yeah, turn it off. So this is going to be my crop storage overflow, and this is going to be wheat, tomatoes, and lettuce. This is going to be corn, potatoes, and carrots. Once I get that organized, grab two more plots and repeat that. Do 20 on each one. That way I can harvest a row, keep 10, and then replant 10 because you get double now with the experience I have. Speaking of which, let's upgrade my sharpshooter. And anything else fun to play with? And I'll upgrade mechanic. You never know. Okay, let's go check our Pump jack is full. I put my gas containers here for ease of transport. Put it right back here, throw it right in there. Put that right here. Grabbed a couple more water butts. And there we go. We're almost starting to get a functional infrastructure together. Whee! It's one thing I'm still here. I played that Minecraft game, and every time you jump on a farm plot, it uproots the plants. So I kind of revel in the fact that I can jump and do no damage. Whee. All right. Well, I got some organization to do. And then I'll figure out the rest or what else I want to do. But first things first, when you get a chance, you always want to... Put the ammo in the weapon, unless of course your goal is for storage, then you want to keep the ammo out of the weapon. Well, that does give us 16 shots now. I have to rebuild my stock back up. Still haven't found that eagle fire yet. Oh well. Uh, BRB, I'm going to have to do some stuff. Night has fallen again upon the existential sandbox. Got some things done. Started the kitchen. Got myself a functioning stove. Turn it off and on. Got a nice big storage pantry. Got a nice fridge. Table set up here. Got a beginnings of a nice relaxing patio. I think all in all, slowly coming together. Even put in a sink to wash my produce. So, oh well. Well. Check the Jenny, get to the radio, full moon's here, this is the existential sandbox, signing off, it's a blood moon eclipse, the zombies have red eyes, try not to die, oh. someday somebody will answer on that radio.